friends this is SV channel on which you are going to see how to interface your ESP with your EVR microcontroller and how you can send the data from microcontroller to server using ESP-01 module let me show you ESP-01 Wi-Fi module that you are seeing which is I am using ESP-01 for sending the data and that is the development mode that I am using that contains 8 mega 16 or 32 microcontroller I am using 8 mega 16 microcontroller there is no difference between them uh, there is a difference only in terms of their flash memory that's the programmer I see 8 mega 8 that I am using to load the program to that I see now without wasting time let's move it to let's do it to do that project uh, that we will do in within five minutes is you should know about the microcontroller basic knowledge you should know about uh, your art communications and because this is the basic thing that you should know after that you should perform it uh, if you don't know then don't worry you just find the links in the video description from where you can learn it uh, so that's the board that you are saying that's contain 8 mega 16 uh, microcontroller uh, which is 8 bit microcontroller you can use any 8 bit microcontroller uh, now that's the ESP that you are seeing and I will tell you each and everything about uh, the ESP because this is the main thing that you should uh, know before using it so I will tell you each and every day before going to tell about ESP I just uh, want to tell you some basic things about ESP that it is 3.3 uh, powered Wi-Fi module so you need a 3.3 regulator for it because uh, uh, you cannot power it uh, with the that board powered because it is 5 volt and you should be careful regarding the connection of ESP01 to avoid any damage to it this is the uh, basic circuit diagram of ESP you are saying on it that's the enable reset and 3.3 is given to your 3 ground is connected to your ground and the rx pin of your esp is connected to the tx pin of your at mega 16 controller the tx pin of esp you can connect it to your uh, controller or you can connect directly connect it to your usb to serial converter or maybe arduino to see the response uh, of your esp and that's the whole circuit that you should know it about the basic connection between ESP and your controller <coughs> and uh, this is the another circuit that I google it so this is the ESP-01 data Wi-Fi module data sheet that we are going to use in our project and you can get this uh, from my dig link description and that's the ESP Wi-Fi module you know that is built by I think again it has a coprocessor which is ESP8266 uh, which is 30 bit microcontroller it has certain code lock speeds like around 80 to 160 megahertz uh, it also supports uh, IEEE802 protocol and also complete TCP IP protocol so using that TCP IP protocol we actually sending data to our server that um, that we are using that is the pin description that I already tell you in the previous you know, this is the pin description that is general ground general purpose input output pins that we have to rx pin is there in which you are applying or you are VCC which is 3.3 RB set enable and txt this is the uh, modes of your uh, esp01 if you are using as a uart mode you just put a gpio pins as low 
and in case of uh, you are uh, uploading a firmware in it you need to apply these three configuration according to your mode this is the basic schematic of your ESP-01 module you can get each and everything about in that data sheet and so we are uh, using AT command to send data from your uh, ESP2 server and I am using Thingspeak uh, server from my lab that is provided for an MD purpose so that's why I am using it and uh, I am using UART communication between ESP and your uh, microcontroller uh, first you need to find out the portrait of your ESP 01 uh, because uh, after finding the portrait you can communicate using BODART uh, UART sorry my ESP default board rate is 115.2.0 uh, but the thing that all uh, the task that you only need to do is to find out the default board rate of your ESP uh, but I change the firmware of ESP to get board rate of 96.0 you can also change it there is too much website on Google from where you can uh, change it uh, after that the, the commands that I am going to use in my project these are the AT commands and you can find a lot of documents regarding AT commands ESP266 AT command set but I found this is too uh, good document and uh, I will give a PDF in your link description you can get it from there or you just download it <coughs> the, this uh, document actually provides you the function AT commands and its response also so I am not going to discuss it, uh, I want that uh, you should read it because it should be <coughs> uh, if you are building a project you should do some work on it so that's why uh, you can just read it, it's too easy and uh, uh, if you read it then you get the my code how it is working ok so let's move to the code this is the code that I am actually using for UART here you are seeing that uh, these are the functions that I made that init, enable, rx, and tx, the data tx and data tx string then I actually include a file you can include it or it depends on you if you include uh, that header file in your main program then uh, there is no need to include here uh, in init function basically we are uh, uh, setting the board rate using UPR at register and uh, enabling a board so we are basically doing your initializations you can check uh, uh, that thing from your uh, that the value that 51 is from your ABR microcontroller data sheet it's mentioned here and I am enabling the RX and TX of your <coughs> using UCSR register uh, for data transmission receiving and uh, waiting until the UDR get pulled get it and then uh, that receive the data or that I am sending that data using UDR similarly for register this is the function that um, is showing now we will move to the next main code that's the main code that I am using. Uh, firstly, I set FCPU with my voice and I include AVR as a interdocker library. It doesn't need, but I include it. I use a header file for delay. Then I include our UART header file. And that uh, I actually setting the board rate and telling him the clock. Tx, then I'll, I create a ESP init function here uh, that is used and uh, which I'm sending uh, uh, ET commands uh, that I already tell you for uh, communicating with ESP via your communication. So, uh, this is the first ET command, then I'm sending. Uh, making uh, sending a ET command for mode of your ESP 
then I am connecting to a hotspot that is made by for internet address then after init uh, and sending the CIP start it command for connecting our ESP to success to our the server that is uh, that the domain that I am using api.thinkspeak.com and thinkspeak uh, is actually a free uh, IoT server you can just make a uh, channel by just uh, making an ID on thinkspeak you can create that ID you can make an ID using your personal gmail or any gmail id you can move there you can create uh, channel on api.thinkspeak.com and if you are getting problem regarding that there is a lot of videos on youtube and google you search it how to create a channel on uh, thinkspeak and you will you get all the stuffs yeah. after that i am using at plus cip start uh, command after connecting to the uh, thinkspeak channel I am uh, sending data uh, uh, and <coughs> after uh, CIP start actually I write it twice because there is no, no need to that so I delete it after sending CIP start your, your device is connected to your actually your ESP is connected to the server and then you are sending the it, uh, number of bytes you want to send using ESP so you are telling the ESP that I am sending the 47 bytes of data uh, that 47 is actually uh, get by calculating the next you just send, tell him that I am sending that then uh, on EAP uh, your things speak server you have to send the data using get command so I uh, after uh, telling the ESP that I am sending 47 byte of data I just uh, write the get command here and that's the API key uh, is that is important you, you you actually get that API key when you create the channel thing speak you just need to change that thing only and in the field one the data you want to send is like I am sending 20 20 the value you can send any sensor data and at all so you have to uh, make uh, your program according to it so this is the thing uh, that I am now I just upload that uh, code to my controller this is my thinkspeak channel uh, uh, on where you can get data uh, the data that you send using ESP uh, is saved here in the fields of this channel and uh, uh, there, there is a great advantage of things speak uh, uh, server and uh, the channel that we create is that actually uh, it gives you the rep uh, graphical representation of sensor data any sensor data or the data that you are sending so it has advantage of that uh, for API keys you have to go there and from there you get API key this is the channel write API key and this is the read api key we will use read api key later on but now we only need write api key from i already tell you where you have to uh, check the write the api key so from here you can create a new api key or when you create a channel you get a api key because this is the key this key is very important if you want to uh, transfer data between channel or your esp so this is the stuff one more thing that I want to convey with you that uh, you have to uh, synchronize uh, the delay because it's the important task that you should uh, do it because uh, the delay actually works according to your uh, think speak server delay and think speak synchronization because uh, it actually depends upon your net, sp net speed also internet speed also so uh, delay synchronization is so good you can change the delay using delay underscore ems uh, you can change according the okay so this is the task that you should do it because uh, i cannot do that thing all <laughs> uh, setup uh, is installed here this is the tx 
pin of your controller that I connect to the RX pin of ESP and I powered the ESP using Arduino board because I doesn't have 3.3 regulator so uh, Arduino board has 3.3 supply that I used it and I am also using the uh, Arduino board for as a USB to serial converter for seeing the response of uh, ESP uh, that gives you an idea how what is going on uh, so that's why I am using that now uh, I am just going to power it and you will see the response on the serial monitor of your Arduino the last entry is about 10 hour ago in the channel and now we will send the data like 10 or 20 I will tell you which data I am sending and you will see the representation here okay uh, we will send 50 around because it gives you an idea that the data is sending uh, now now see I am sending the 80 command there is the 80 command 80 80 CW mode CIP mode now it is connected to your Wi-Fi hotspot now it is connected to your thing this picture server uh, and I tell him ESP that I send 50 bytes uh, of data the data is written here I am sending 50 here and uh, let's see the response of ESP takes time because of the server error and actually I synchronize it yeah see the send ok is there and you get update on see uh, we get update on I think it's big channel less than a minute ago so the data is here we send 50 I actually send this uh, for actually write that thing in a loop so that's why he's sending uh, continuously 50 data so in this way uh, you can send data to your any server uh, only thing you need to do you have to connect the data and represent the data here the thing speak already represented according to <coughs> according it to a graphical representation hope you will like the video and please share and comment this is the first video by HV you get more regarding the technical stuffs of electronics and IOT based uh, videos in this channel so please subscribe it and you will get please uh, ring the bell also because it will be beneficial for you thank you